Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, but if he ain't right. treat me right, yeah. I mean, if he wasn't a nothing guy, but I, I wouldn't do it. But you know, you know, I come from the girl. You, your thought come to your mind how you could get over. You know. But I said, damn. I said, they leave all that money in it. You know, we went through the fight and left the money there. And I had a key and everything to go in the place. You know, I, you know, but I, I said, damn, I could have done. It. I said, nah, but you treat me so good because uh, when we was going before we went through the fight, we was uh. Oh, excuse me. Fight. Yeah, we before we went to fight, we went to eat. So we going through, we going through the. The, we we walking like in in the, in the hall going you know, where they gown at. We walking all in the hall and shit. So everybody kept saying, "Hey Frank," and so I'm I'm thinking. I said, "Damn, Frank and Nasha must be around here somewhere." I think it's Frank and Nasha. Frank, hey Frank, hey Frank. All the people got the call and they were talking to Frank Matthews. I said, "God damn!" So popular. Yeah, he was popping in Vegas, you know. Cause when I when we was walking, I thought they were talking about Frank Sinatra. Hey Frank, hey Frank. I'm looking around. I said, damn, Frank must be. And then they were talking to him. I said, damn. So anyway, we go eat. So uh, so so Frank, everybody sit down. I said, God damn. So Frank said, damn. I feel like eating a rabbit. He said, I don't want. He said, he said, damn. He said, I'm to taste for a rabbit. So he asked, wait. Well, he said, you. He said, y'all got rabbit in here. He said, nah, Mr. Frank, if you want one, we go catch him. <laughs> so we say, so we go catch him. And so that's how Poppy was in Vegas. And so when we went to the fight, that's when I got locked up. And he told the police, let me go. You know? He had enough influence. He had a lot of influence in Vegas. So so anyway, after all that happened. So he, he just, I owed him uh, like $60,000 at one time. So I got it in my car. I keep trying to get it to him. So I kept, kept, I kept trying to call Bob and all that. Mickey, I said, man, where's Frank at? He said, I ain't know. I said, tell him I, you know, I'm going to see him. So one thing led to night, he said, so when I did get him, he said, man, what you keep calling me for? I said, man, you know what's up. He said, "Punk, is you?" He said, "Look, is you broke? Keep it, motherfucker." <laughs> he said, "Is you broke? Keep it." I don't want to hear that. Now I could just say I was broke, you know. So I said, "No, nah, I ain't broke." He said, "We're bringing up on Prospect, the house they had up on Prospect." So I like, go well, that. Was that the Ponderosa? Yeah. Yeah. So I, so I, I just, I took the money, took it up there. But I was just thinking, all I had to do was tell him over the phone, yeah, man, I'm doing bad, and, you know, but he was so good. So all I, all I had to do was ask him for it, he would give it to me. So I gave him the money up there. So, so when he, uh, so he in Vegas when he, when they locked him up. So so they gave him a bail, he came out on bail. And so a lawyer, so uh, he going to get ready to go to the range one day. So a lawyer told him, said, look, come here. He pulled Frank up. He said, look, let me tell you something. He said, I don't to tell you this, but they indict you in Florida. He said, you going to court. You ain't getting out. They got 848 on you. So Frank said, yeah. He said, yeah, don't go to Rangeland. If you go, they're going to lock you up. A lawyer told him this. So that's why he, that's why he, he went. He didn't go because that's what happened. He knew he had not indictment. From Florida, so the Lord, so he, so he gets his money together. He called the bells bomb. He said, "Come here." And so the bells bomb said, well, "He said, look here, boom." He gave the bells bomb his money. He said, "I'm gone. I don't want to stick you with the bell." That's the last time he seen it. Was that the lawyer? Was that Dino Galina? Remember the name? Uh, the, the Dino. No, Galina. it wasn't. Yeah, the one that got killed. Yeah. No, yeah, the one that got killed. No, it wasn't. Yeah. But he was the one that uh, was uh, advising Frank at the time. He was driving too, but it's not a lawyer. He might have been out of his office. Oh, okay. So he told Frank, they indict you down there in Florida. Oh, with Rommel. Right, right. So he said, he told him, say, you uh, you go to court, they're going to take your bail. Yeah, I'll connect huh? I have a deal. I'll, 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 I'll
Yeah. yeah. So he got killed. He, they, he got murdered. He got killed in the building. Oh, did you ever meet Billy Moon? Yes. Can we, well, let's circle back and make yeah, yeah, that yeah, right. yeah, because he had another lawyer named Huffman, too. Yeah, Stanley, named, Stanley Kaufman. Yeah. Uh, Stanley Kaufman, right. That was his lawyer. Jeff Huffman. Oh, Jeff. Probably represent me in Baltimore. Came all the way from Boston and represent and, and, me. And that was because of Frank. Mm hmm. Frank yeah. helped you with F. Lee Bailey. Yeah. He About paid him. He the one paid F. Lee Bailey. Yeah, um, the Italians, did he ever talk about, Frank, did he ever talk about the Italians? He didn't like them, right? He, he went, he, as far as I'm saying, he didn't deal with them. I mean, they wanted him because, you know, they had that product and they want Frank to do it. They were trying to get Frank to come in. But Frank had something down in Florida. He ain't need them. And then I guess he had in North, in North Carolina. I think he might have been hooked up with Ike, Ike Atkinson, you know. You know, he had something down there. He said something about the body, and shit. but I'm just saying he didn't need it. He, he didn't need the tag. Right. You know. Actually, uh, there's some. Uh, I saw some records that, that Frank bought, uh, bought some stuff off. But to Las Vegas a lot. Uh, was that uh, with uh, with yeah. Frank? He went out there a lot, and you went out there. Yeah, I went out there a couple of times when they had them big fights and stuff on there. Right. So. Uh, they told me about so, yeah. Yeah. Right. So it was, you know, if y'all want to get the film. I, you didn't see what they locked me up and all that. I was trying to get it for the Eddie Jackson guy. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so, so, I, so Frank and them were dressing, but they weren't dressing like dressing. You know, because one day, because I used to go to uh, Phil Cronfield and, uh, and uh, what's the other store? Uh, Layton's. Layton's. I, uh, that's where I used John to dress. Right. So they used to see me and say, damn, where you get all your clothes? And I, and I was surprised they live in New York. Ain't know nothing about Layton and Phil <laughs> Cronfield. They was in Brooklyn. And I used to tell them, I said, at Layton. You know? I, and so I took Mickey over there. And so they started buying clothes from uh, the Creole Farm from Layton. But I was surprised they lived in New York and didn't know nothing about Layton. And that's when they started buying their clothes and stuff. Because that's where I used to buy all my clothes at Levels. And all them shoes, alligators. Did, did, did you ever see the, the Ponderosa? Did you ever go in there? In the, yeah, I yeah. left money in there. And there. Well, what, what was it like? What was the place like? like was there a guard at the door? How nah. Was I was surprised. All that money and they stay in there, you could have broke in there and, and took all that. They just left it. How much money do you think was in there? Like, approximately know. millions or thousands? Millions. Now, now, Frank was selling weight, but didn't he also have, he had spots in Brooklyn that were s selling bags, too, right? We had a boy Leon in Brooklyn. Leon was in Brooklyn, then that dude named Charles, he was in Boston. And they were selling packs. They were selling keys. They weren't selling no pack. You know, they might have somebody. Uh, they, you know, they might have something, but they were selling kilos. You know, but, that boy Charles, I think he's still living there. Charles, out of Brooklyn. I mean, out of Boston. He used to, he used to get him money for Boston. Did you did you uh, ever see Barbara Hinton? Or, or yeah. What was, was she like? She was nice, nice. You know, quiet, mind of business. You know, with Frank. And Frank would live next door to uh, Carlos Bambino. wasn't a, wasn't Paul. And he said, Carlos, you ain't going to put the police on it. That was Frank, though, me. He said, wait, say button, that again? Buttonwood button Road. Yeah, Buttonwood, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't Paul. Paul wasn't in the he bar. Did, yeah, he did with Paul Castellano. Right? Yeah. He lived there, but you're saying that he told you that Carlos Gambino. Carlos Bandino, he was living next door to him. And he put the, and Frank said, he put the police on him. The boss of bosses. That was Frank said. And why was that? He talking about he gonna put the dope wet back wet poses because some of shit. He's saying that's what the mob told him. That's what uh, Frank said. The police them was telling me. Did, 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 did you, you ever go up to Toad Hill? Did he? Did he hang? Did he hang? He put them on a lamppost. Oh, yeah, on, on uh, Mulberry Street. Mulberry. Oh, we gotta get that. No, he, he yeah. said, he, uh, so that's what I'm saying. Italians were jealous. They were jealous of him, cause uh, Frank what was, was making. You know, like the mob, you just say, just picture the mob, they got all these men 
you know, soldiers behind. But they couldn't even touch Frank and money. Frank had more money than the mob. So you know they was jealous. You got a black dude living next door to him doing that. And they got to kill people that do didn't do that the mob. And he ain't had to kill nobody. He got all the money on his side. He ain't had to kill for his money like the mob, you know. What were your feelings uh, when you heard he was arrested in Las Vegas and you were bringing him back? What would you think? Oh, he got out on bail yeah. when they, when they, you I mean, know. were you surprised? Yeah, I was, you know, I was surprised. I was surprised and fucked up by it, you know. You were still, how much money do you think you were spending a month with Frank? No doubt. I mean, you personally, over the years, probably gave him a million dollars. Me, more than that. Can you say? Can you say I, I over the years gave Frank several million dollars? Millions, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, can you say that in a sentence like I, I personally spent a couple million with Frank? <coughs> yeah, it was Frank and and Mickey. Both of them was, you know, I was getting it from both of them. That's the same person, though. No, no. Can you like say in a sentence say, like say, it. say I, I, I was. I gave Frank and Mickey millions because I made millions. And I had to give them millions for me making millions. You know? When, when, when uh, Frank was out on bond, because he got out on bond, did you see him during that period before he fled? Yeah, he was still, he still was mingling with people and shit, and they know he had a case. But about a month later, that's when the other case came out of Florida. And, and you know, and he was going back and forth to court, and that's when the, he get ready to go to court that week, and that's when the lawyer hipped him, say, "You ain't coming back out if you go to that court." And he said, "Why?" He said, "They said they indict you. They got to see an indictment on you in Florida, and that's eight forty eight. And he was telling, he said, "Well, I'm just telling you, you go to court, you ain't getting out on bail." So that's when he. Got the guy all his shit together and shit. Called the bills, bond, paid him. You know, gave people money who he want. He said, I'm gone. Ain't nobody see him. Do you think he had a plan, like Shorty was talking about, uh, that he had a, a plan to escape? Not, a, not, no, nah, he ain't had no plan. Not until the lawyer told him. He was going to court for that well, he case. Was going to court. He actually said he was going to court. He was going to court on the case with, with Big Ed and him. New York case. Yeah, he was he was going to court on he that. He had no intention of I went to court for four months. He wasn't he wasn't talking about no escape. He was, his plot came in when the lawyer told him you not getting out on bail. They gonna keep you. You gonna face a life sentence, a eight forty eight. That's when he plotted and ain't go to court. The marshals and them they know that he ain't know about that indictment. They were gonna surprise him when he go to court. But the lawyer beat him to it, and, and that's when that's when the plot came. Then he left. You know what I'm saying? Then, then uh, Pop Dobby and all them. They say he's still alive himself. Pop Dobby and all them told him. You know so. Oh, when, Pop Dobby told you? Yeah, say so he alive. When was this? We was in Lewisburg together. Me, and Pop. How many years ago was that? What year was that? Be something in Lewisburg. Uh, Second time you was in the nah, when when see he was they had he was a co conspirator on my case. I got a child in Baltimore. And Frank was a co they tried to make him a co conspirator with me, but they, they ain't have enough evidence. They bought his name up in my case. I got thirty years on that case. That was in seventy three. Yeah. Well, you got thirty years? How much time did you get? About seventeen. Yeah. Well, well, why, why, does, uh, why did John Darby say that Frank was alive? Because he, actually, he, he, he had talked with him, or he, he had he had he had talked with him, and while I was doing my case, I, they pulled me New York, the New York DA pulled me to fuck the New York in '78. They they pulled me, they came and got me. I was I was in uh, Oxford, and so they come and got me, and I went to New York. I, I ain't know what I was got to go to send me to New York. So I goes in uh what's that jail there up there? West Street. No, nah, I wasn't West Street, it was 
right? Not to tune. MCC? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Metropolitan Correctional yeah, Center. That, that, yeah, that, that, yeah. Tune, yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't there, so the, I, they, they, they take me downtown and ask me, do I think where Frank at won't do, you know, so. And this is five years after Frank's been gone. Yeah, this is this is 78. So they, they questioned me and all that, so. I kept me up, but matter of fact, they kept me up for about four months. But the place was so good, I ain't mind staying there. <laughs> you know, they had women there, and it, it was it was nice, you know. But then, they, then you know, I, after they finished questioning me, they let me out. But Pop Darby say Frank is alive. I said, I said, what made you think? He said, look, Frank is in Africa. I said, I said, what? He said, yeah. And then he said. Uh, you won't know him. I said, what do you mean I, I won't know him? He done like that. I said, I said, what? I said, like that? He said, yeah. So he got a whole new face. And then Pop Dava, he told me that. Wow. When, when did he say, tell you that? Do you remember? We was in jail. He got 15 years. He was on the case with, when Pop on tape with you, he was on case with them. Come this is what I'm Marshall saying. Told us this. No one's ever come forward and said, I want to make a deal with you. I know where Frank is. How do you explain that? Now, this is what I think. They got rumored out that the Guinness hit Frank. You know what I'm saying? There's so a rumor. There's a rumor that the it's Guinness. There's a, a rumor out that, that the Guinness hit Frank. So I'm saying this. If the Guinness hit Frank, they wouldn't know about it because they snitched so much. Them Guinness told on John Gotti, and they, that would have came out. And Frank wasn't even dealing with the fucking Guinness. So, you know, I don't even know how they involved, you know, all the matters. Somebody said, oh, yeah, he got a Guinea connection. But Frank wasn't dealing with them. So that's a, I, as far as I know, that's a bad bone, you know. So all I'm, I'm thinking, he is here alive. John Darby told me, he got a plastic surgery. Boom, he's doing good. He over in Africa somewhere. So, so, so Liddy, what's your theory? I'm that's, that's, that's my it. theory. Oh, that's it. So you're, you're I believe with John, John Darby. Darby. Yeah. Because that's my close. man. Right. That's my man. John Darby's my man. And, you know, me and him was doing time together. But, I mean, he ain't broadcasted like that. We, he went to college. He said, look, Frank is on. I said, oh, yeah? And he said, yeah. I said, how do you know? He said, I'm telling you, he's yeah, all right. So I said, why do you think? He said, I said, what do you think? He said, he got a whole new face. He goo. Boom, he's over there. What about the girl? I mean, did, did, did John Darby tell you about? Oh, no, he didn't say nothing about her. He, you know, he know I wasn't worried about her. I'm interested in Frank, not the girl. Not her. What do you think? You know, so we, did, did you hear anything over the years? Like, what happened to her? Or is there any theories? About her? Yeah, about her. No. You, I, you know. Did you ever meet her? Yeah, I've seen her. Cheryl Brown? What does she look like? She's nice looking, you know. He always had a nice looking girl. You know, he was a nice looking guy too. He wasn't yeah. bad looking. The girls liked him. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> With that money, he knew that. I, I think there was five Frank Matthews. I've heard so many stories about him. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta, Baltimore, Baltimore Philadelphia. That's uh, what he had, he had people all in them states. Yeah, but he had so oh, many girls. But, uh, so you think Frank Matthews is alive and well? Yeah. Definitely. Do you miss him? Do I? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'd be a billionaire if he was still out. <laughs> I'd be a billionaire if he was still around. Yeah. It was real. Was working like that. So, so yeah. he was really the biggest of the big. Yeah, Nicky Bond, all them Frank Lucas, they couldn't touch him. You know, like I say, they had one state, New York. He had twenty-five states. So you know, I do count the math. You know, Nicky Bonds was big in New York. You two guys were the biggest in Baltimore, right? Yeah. Can you say we were the biggest in Baltimore? We was the biggest at the time, yeah. Oh, I mean, can you say like a complete sentence, like we, me and me and Big Head was the biggest. We had that town locked down. Me and, and Big you Head. were getting it from Frank. And Big Head. Oh, okay. oh, he was doing his thing. Yeah, he wasn't giving me enough. Yeah. He was he holding his back on. <laughs> Linda, you had a lot of fun with uh, back, you know, Frank in those days. Do you, uh, what's your feeling when you look back at, at those days? Do you, is there any uh, 
nostalgia or do you feel regret? How do you feel? No, I feel I feel good that I met a man like that. Just you know, back in the day, in the day, you ain't gonna find nobody like that. Hey, one of the guys, Frank Rains was going to be the camp. Yeah, you ain't, you know, like the day, you ain't gonna find nobody like Frank. You know, he was one of a kind. Would you say? Yeah, one of a kind. You ain't gonna find nobody like him no more. Not not where they got the system. Now, they ain't gonna let nobody get like that no more. In terms of being a kingpin. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they got too many snitches and too many conniving, jealous. They got it set up that you ain't gonna get like that no more. You know. Is there anything you wish to add? Any, anything you wish to say? Nah. Yeah. You, this is really good, all three of yeah, you guys. Yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah. I just wanted to get that quote. Yeah. I got locked up in Baltimore, right? I got locked up in Baltimore, and, uh, and they took me to the county jail. So anyway, I escaped from the county jail, so I went to I went to New York. So Frank, so Frank, them told him, say, man, they locked you up in Baltimore, and he was mad about me getting locked up. So Frank said, look. Get him the best, he said, look, he said, Pop, get them the best lawyer we can get. And so, so Bob said, all right. So he said, who do you think the best? So they said, get Alfred Lee Bailey. That, you know, then Charles said, get Alfred Lee Bailey. So they said, call Alfred Lee Bailey, tell him go down there and represent. And sure enough, he came down there and represent Alfred Lee Bailey. Did that help you? We beat the case. I yeah. beat that oh, case. Oh, yeah, he was, he was good. Yeah. Anthony Bailey, yeah, Anthony Bailey. Wow. Well, he was partners with H. Ross Black, yeah. and that's who did court yeah. and Eddie that's Jackson's right. case. Well, the Frank, Frank and them hired him to get to me. That's, that's, wow. Well, uh, but 